Good morning, guys. So, um, last weekend and the weekend previously to that, we did some sheet style drills with the entries and non entries. But today, we're going to do work on something differently. We're going to be working against, and I got to be very detailed in explaining this, we're going to be working against a jab and a hook. Now, we're not a committed punch, but a flicking in and out jab, like boxes. So, what we're working on three basic principles covering, not being there, and maintaining our center. So, basically, we're going to do it nice and slowly. We're going to be the cross lead, all right? So this cross lead, he's going to throw the jab, I'm covering. I'm not looking to touch. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. The objective is that I want to cover. I'm not blocking. We in Wing Chun do not block. Many Wing Chun people tend to use that word blocking. But coming from the lineage of Duncan Young and my teacher, Joe Musi, we cover. The simple reason is that we're not looking to hit the, the attacking weapon. If we meet it and we do some damage, good. But we're doing is covering, covering our center. So when he throws a punch, I'm covering. As I cover, because the punch is no longer gonna be there, he's gonna hook. No, he's gonna hook and I'm gonna come in with a time dot. So basically, he's gonna come boom, and I'm gonna kick. So back again, hook, hit. So if you're nice and slow, one, and that step, and I'm kicking, breaking the structure, which allows me to do, you know, so forth, you know, many other different things, and you know, and so forth, I'm going to walk home and so forth. All right, so basically, we go one, two, kick. That's the first drill. Again, if you do it at a basic level, one, you step in and put a time down. This allows for many different things to follow through and so forth, okay? Second drill, he jabs, but he doesn't hook with that hand. He's gonna hook with that one. Making it much more tangible that he's coming in. Making it easier for us to do many things. So, when he, I throw, I hit. Boom, automatic. So back again. One, boom, hit. So when I come here, I go back down. Back again. One, boom. Okay, so slow motion. So I'm gonna go one, step in, and kick, and punch. All right? So basically, Giovanni and Pito are gonna do this. I'm gonna put it on hold, just let it flow. I'll take over it. Giovanni is gonna do the first drill. Second drill. Again, the second drill. One more time. Okay, reverse it. First drill. Again. First drill. Second drill. First drill, oh, sorry. that's all right, Good recover. Now Giovanni do it again one more time. Again, second drill, and again, that's basically it. So basically, uh, basically that's the drill to work with. I mean, there's so many things you could do. The objective what we're doing is that we're looking to cover when he throws the first punch, it's to cover. Cover, we're not pushing it, we're not doing this, we're not doing this. We basically go from here. We know that when he throws that punch, I'm in there. And if he hooks, I'm in there to do whatever I have to do and follow up with whatever contingency. Okay, it's a drill to develop your distance, your timing, your reaction time. So basically that's what we're working on. It's a basic drill, but you're learning to either do it with a kick, an oblique kick, or not do it with a kick, depending on the level you're in. So I hope you enjoy it. Any comments, feel free to please put it down. Thank you.